Hey everybody, I am coming to you over breakfast yet again because it seems like we have something to talk about yet again. So uh, basically what has happened, in case you are not aware, is that uh, we recently received the news that Sebastian Croft, who of course we know of as Bash, has been announced as a voice actor for uh, Hogwarts Legacy, the new Harry Potter game that's coming out soon. If, if you are somehow not aware, uh, the reason why this is an issue is that uh, J.K. Rowling, who of course is the author of Harry Potter and continues to reap benefits from Harry Potter merchandise and uh, the fame that comes along with it and the support of people who support it, um, is very openly transphobic, so very against the very idea of trans people. Uh, I won't go too much into the rhetoric, but the basic idea is that people like J.K. Rowling believe that trans men are deluded girls who have been like seduced into believing that becoming men is their only way to be happy or something like that, and they believe that trans women are essentially predators looking to, you know, somehow sneak into women's bathrooms and assault women, which is so ridiculous it defies, like, I can't even find words for it. Um, yeah, so obviously we don't want to support those views, and there are, there are a lot of opinions about this game. Even for me, an actual trans person, it took a while for me to be able to cut myself off from the Harry Potter franchise, despite knowing the damage that J.K. Rowling was doing to the trans community. And for anyone saying that she has not done damage, she definitely has, not only in the fact that she's using her very public platform to openly speak out against trans people and provide misleading and often just flat-out incorrect information in order to sway public opinion about trans people. And also, her rhetoric is being used by actual lawmakers to make anti-trans laws. Like, that's, yeah. But even knowing that, Harry Potter was an important part of my youth, as it was for many of us. So it holds a, a special place in our heart. When something is so deeply buried in your formative memories and is has brought you together with people who have similar values and has just connected with you on such a deep emotional level in your formative years, it's hard to break away from that. And the instinct is to hold on to it and find excuses for why it's okay to do that. And I did that for a long time as well. I was like, well, you know, it's, I don't support JK Rowling, obviously, but I still want to be able to enjoy this franchise. But Eventually, it just got to the point for me where I couldn't justify doing that anymore. So, anyway, <laughs> back to Bash. So, I don't defend this. <laughs> like, it's not a good choice to participate in any way in this project, knowing what J.K. Rowling has done. And especially for someone like Bash, who has, you know, openly done fundraising for the LGBT community and clearly is not transphobic by supporting this game by you know agreeing to work for it and profiting off of it that's that's not a good look we could go into trying to figure out why this happened or like oh it was a few years ago when he agreed to do it and you know he was literally a child then so it was his agent's decision or you know, that we didn't realize then quite how extreme J.K. Rowling's views were or blah, 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 blah. There are so many reasons. It doesn't matter why. The truth is, it doesn't matter why this happened. What matters is what happens next. I think Bash probably realizes that this is, even even without the, the immediate backlash from Heartstopper fans in particular, I'm pretty sure he realizes that this was not a good, not a good uh, step because you'll notice that he has not said a word about it. Like, usually when one of the Heartstopper crew is doing a particular project, they will post about it on Instagram or Twitter or blah, 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 and be talking about it, and everybody boosts it and blah, blah, blah. But Bash has not posted 
anything. There has been zero, at least at this point of me recording this video, there has been zero commentary from him about this. So he's not promoting it, which is good. Like, if, if this news had come from Bash's own account, being like, hey, I'm doing Hogwarts Legacy, this is great, I would be more inclined to be like, oh my god, this is, this is awful. But I think he realizes that this was a mistake. I'm not sure what the next step will be for him, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping he will make some kind of public statement regarding realizing that this was a mistake. And I don't know if it's possible to back out. I don't know what has been done. If the recording of his lines is already finished, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do hope is that we as a community can use this as an opportunity for education and not for just mindless, like, torch mob mentality attack. It's easy to lash out in this kind of situation, but I don't think that accomplishes anything. I guess what I'm saying is that, you know, I do not speak for the trans community, but I am a trans person. And personally, I hope that instead of saying, oh, Bash is dead to us now, he has done this thing, which is, you know, it's, it's, he cannot come back from it. We are, we are done with him forever. Instead of doing that, I hope that we can use this opportunity to educate, to show why this was a mistake and why it merits an apology and hopefully not doing anything like this in the future. Like, there are a lot of people who are on the fence about the Harry Potter franchise. And this could be an opportunity to show them why it is not okay <laughs> to support this game. Because, and not just this game, but anything related to any, anything that is going to give money and support to J.K. Rowling and her views, I think it's important that we speak out against and stand up against. So I'm hopeful that... We can use this opportunity to educate Bash, to educate people who are on the fence, to show them in a calm and, you know, patient manner, even though it's hard in a situation like this, why it's not okay, you know? Okay, so that's what I'm hoping for. That, that's, those are basically my thoughts on the issue, and... If they're a bit scattered, it's because it's it's literally six something in the morning, and uh, I've just woken up and my oatmeal is is congealing next to me, and I have like my morning phlegm, which is making talking very difficult. So, yeah. But anyway, so I'm I'm leaving comments on for this video because I always leave comments on, but I hope that we can talk to each other respectfully about this in the comments if we decide to discuss this in the comments and if we have any more uh <laughs> any more random folks wandering in with uh conflicting views i hope we can not attack them but instead either basically if there's a troll let's either ignore the troll or treat them with kindness <laughs> so <laughs> okay all right, well, that's all from me. Uh, I need to eat my eat my oatmeal and wake up properly. But thank you for listening, and uh, I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.